I think my advice to somebody who wants to become a sports psychologist or indeed actually wants to become a sports science of, of any flavour, whether it's a physiologist or a biomechanist or a psychologist, is that it is about you demonstrating what you can do to add value. It's about actually getting out there and showing your value. I think one, one, of, the, one of the problems that I see now is that there are a huge number of sports scientists coming out of undergraduate degrees, master's degrees and even PhDs who have a belief that with, a, with letters after their name, they should get a job, is that they deserve a job because they've gone through the system. And, and the point is that it doesn't work like that in, in sport uh, or, or indeed in exercise environment per se. And I think really what they have to do is work incredibly hard, invariably for free initially, to actually demonstrate that they have a value added to those individuals. Because it's, sport in particular is a very difficult environment because there is a, a, lot, a huge amount at stake. Uh, and a, as, a, as a newcomer, uh, as an unproven entity, you're going to find it very, very difficult to permeate into the elite end of sport. But it's just the same at, at, at any end of sport, really. But you've got to earn your stripes, you've got to work incredibly hard, and you've got to add practical skills and expertise to your portfolio which one thing it includes is education, but practical and applied work is absolutely fundamental.